All right, hit it, Dave. Let's go. <laughs> we going to chat box. You know, we at chat box, something new for the culture. Zoom, shout out to Zoom, man. Yes, sir. Sweet sailing, Ulian Tang. Zero na ti, zero na tu. You gotta live a lifestyle that you choose. Zay da ante, zay da mu, zay te lo na zumi pompu. Zay san ta lo ba si manding lo pa tien zi ke ngay. Chi te le hin chu mo ke sa de tell the real from the fake. Book and lay out and let me talk about life in the trenches. We ain't have no zoo, animals under our basement. Shout out to Kapu, he told me life you gotta be patient. Tu san da du tu ke fa pa mi tang a e ter ben. Rule number one is stay with the gang. Never go sideways Stop. Rules for the time we ain't had no rules We slept through the rainy days Rule number two, you know I'm number one She said she love me, I just wanna throw You know I'm balling, I feel like the what? What? For three, I feel like I'm D thing Watch out, up it and squeeze I'm with the gang, pull up with Lillian And chill me and dish me a D Me that was sweat, pancake, chicka feet What? Hey, being my eyes gon' cost you You should've known that nothing is free I'm from Chicago what? Swerving in Pajo, she think I'm gangster, for baby, real. I'm not though Still in the bed, he needs something like mulatto Me and no two time. times, we twins for real, real. They treat us like Captain Rilo She wanna preach, I turn into Silo But baby, I'm bad like Gino! Hey, hey, baby, hey, I'm bad like Gino! Hey, we'll give a clap right, for that right. But baby, yeah, I'm bad like Gino! Let's go, let's go, hey! Yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir! <laughs> hey, let's go! Alright, thank you, thank you Perfect. Yeah. Um. Thank so. you so much. Uh. For everyone tuning in, we got um. We got Lin Lian. Lian two times. My fault. Lian two yes, times with us today. It's a pleasure to be um, here. Um. We got Sue. So welcome. Hey, everybody, clap up, man. Yes, sir. Let's yes, sir. Up, <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'm gonna give the floor to you. Uh. What What's your name? Uh. Where are you from? What do you do? Uh. This is Lian two time. Uh. Also known by Lian Lian. Uh. I'm from. I, I currently live in West Chicago. Uh. From Tentang. My core is the pool. My mom is Munzi. My dad is Chen Tong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean Lindo Dad? Lindo Dad. Thank you for the information, bro. Yeah, I rap. I rap a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Um. So, what do you do now? Uh, are you in school? What uh, What you got going on right now? Yeah, I'm in school right now, and also I travel. I travel a bit for like concerts right now. That's like my main thing right now. You know, just school. Wait, wait, wait. So he said rapper, right? He said I rap a little bit. So like, my question is. Are you a rapper or you an artist? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying rapper. You know, minung tampin ni kaya and if you know na and if you're a rapper, I guess di natin. I'm like an artist. I, I don't stick to one genre. You know. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I everywhere. I put all my faith and trust in my producer. <laughs> you heard what I'm my, my engineers, man. <laughs> no, no, love y'all, no, love y'all. I sing, but like, mm. am I good at it, bro? <laughs> but singing is not my best attribute, you know. Anyway, so um, we're gonna go off uh, at the beginning, right? How did you start? How did you get into rapping? How did you get into music? How did you get into this artist stuff? For sure, like, uh, when I started, I was like 18, around 17, going to 18. I was just, you know, the influence that we grew up with. It's not the same as if you grew up somewhere else, cause yeah. this your main Definitely, artist for a lot yeah. of things. For I grew up here and I grew up listening to like Polo G, Lil T J, you know what I'm saying, Lil Durk, Young Thug, like etc. You know, like just the main, like the the mainstream. What about rapper. what about some like light light artists that you grew up listening to? Light artists when I was like, young, like bro. Like Kiriko, like yeah, Sanku, Kiriko, shout out, bro. Shout like out Sanku, bro. you know, like I used to memorize those Hell type yeah. of songs. Yeah, yeah, but it was like that and. Whole time, like, I didn't see a lot of, you know, I see like a lot of old school, and I, I, I love old school. I don't hate it, but I was like, mm -hmm. let me let me see what I can do for the music. And so I try to mix both my language and uh, English together, and I I try to do melodic melodic rap. What they call it now? They call it something like chin chinglish. Chinglish, chin something rap. like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Chinglish, yeah. something like that. And yeah, I I started doing that, and you know, Philip was Philip was there, like. Funny story, like I was like, I rap for my my mom and dad. They were in on bed. I was like, Dad, I, I wrote a song, you know. I was so happy. And <laughs> man, we gonna we gonna talk about Philip, man. No, we gonna talk wait, about Philip, man. <laughs> no, no, this 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 is the end. This is the end episode. Bro. So basically, bro. <laughs> so like, my parents like they were on bed. And I, I was just up there. I'm like trying to. I wrote, I wrote that song called Honey, Honey, Do You Love Me? You oh, know, man. like all right now that I think about it, it's funny where we started. So, so, um, real quick, the the first time I saw you like ever perform, I the first time I ever saw you rap was um, I think you went with your dad to Dallas. Yeah. I think it was in Dallas, and um, I think he had some piano over there, and um, he made you either sing or rap. 
and he posted there was a video like on Facebook. Uh-huh. That was the first time I saw it. I was like, damn, like Lian might be onto something. You know, <laughs> Lian, like Moon Lian, we I knew you as Moon Lian back then, right? I was like, Moon Lian, Moon Lian might be onto something, right? Um <clears throat> I didn't know like I didn't know you were that deep into music and 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 rap, you know. It it, it surprised me. It caught me like it caught me by um like it caught me by surprise, right? Um and what you've done now, I think it's it's really telling like how much you work, you know, how much your your work ethic and I really like that. Um and but that was the very first time I saw you. Uh I think it was it was with your dad and you know, I think it shows how much um support and you know f- like family support. I think how much like that matters a lot. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. I think your dad put you on. I think. Yeah, man. But look, shout out to my dad, man. Shout yeah, out to Little Dot. <laughs> shout Lindo out to Tom. Y'all, y'all know him, man, Mr. Lindo Dot. You know he famous too. But I'm gonna say this one thing. You know, I feel like I'm an artist. He's an artist, right? I feel like a lot of people from our state, our town, they're not surprised that we became singers slash artists. You know, come on, he grew up with drum. Playing mm-hmm. instruments all his life. Mm-hmm. I grew up playing acoustic guitar. I play piano when I can, you know, when they squeeze me in. But, you know, like, we, we grew up loving music. So I don't think it's a surprise that we became artists, you know. Yeah. Not necessarily. And um, I think the influence around us when we were younger, I think that's very, very, um, very important. Because, like, um, <clears throat> we grew up with, like, a fell deal with me. A fell deal with me people. And, like, we grew up with actual loving, like, music loving people. You know, um, when someone sets an example, like an older person sets an example for you guys, it's easier to follow. But not to take any credit away from you guys, you know, you guys have done something different. You guys um, basically put Chicago on the map, let's just say, right? Elena, Elena started before you guys, but Elena is more like music, like song, right? You guys, I think you guys did your own thing. You guys did like, you guys took, you guys took a separate route. You guys did rap. You guys put Chicago on the map for us. That's yes, how sir. I see it. Yes, sir. Yes. So um, you said you wrote a song. Honey, honey, right? Yeah. Talk us through that. How how did it feel? The first song ever. Man, it was a lot of. I still remember the release party, man. <laughs> he yeah, was so excited. it was. It was like it was more like um, I was nervous because I I would write it, but you know, like your first song, like I know that not a lot of new artists, they're going through this state of mind where like, oh, if I release this, how are how are people gonna react to it, right? Zinda lam la katua ken me pini ken zinda kamula. Like I was scared too. I was cause I'm gonna TV go like mm-hmm. cause bro. The thing is, everybody don't want, we don't want to be judged. Right. So meaning I can say so let and so I was scared to drop my first song, right? But you know, it was like, how would I ever know if they like it? Uh, how would I ever know they like it if I don't release it? So like, it, I just took that like got out of my comfort zone, you know, cause them low not can like. I just went with it. I asked, you know, you were there for me. I was like, oh, I know he's, he could record. So I was like, Philip, Nakabomkoma. Like, I asked you for help. Yeah. And the thing is, I just, I feel like the thing that got me going was getting out of my comfort zone. Yes, sir. I still remember um, it was in our basement. Same basement, same place, same vent. <laughs> um, it was a small room. Man, y'all should have seen this guy when he first recorded, man. <laughs> Oh when? no, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> no, when when was uh when was Honey released? Twenty. 20 yeah, can, can y'all pull that up real quick? Yeah, twenty. Hey, look it up. <laughs> I think twenty eighteen. We, we have a, br- a web browser. Yeah, um, can can someone actually pull that up? What like the date? When was that? When when was it released? Somebody yeah, can, pull can up pull Honey. Up it's quick? like December. I think twenty nineteen was it? Don't don't pull up the song. Just yeah yeah yeah. It's on YouTube. YouTube. What channel? The date is my Lillian. channel. Yeah. Oh. When? Hey! Oh, it's, it's not today. been a long time. Today is February 14. Yeah. It was released oh, on no. this oh. day. Hey! hey. Congratulations. February, February 14, 2020. Yes, Came a long years way. Ago. You know what? Past four years is crazy. Bro, it's the was day it that a I roller dropped coaster? my first song today. Mm-hmm. On, my fourth, on my fourth year. Is it fourth? Yes. Is, is this yes. my fourth year uh-huh. now? Fourth year. On my fourth year of like doing music, I'm on I'm on chat box. <laughs> With, uh, you with, you talking like chatbox is a big thing, bro. Hey, Don't look, nobody look, I'm, on, I'm on chatbox. Something something great. Something great for the culture. Yes, with uh, with the people I started with. Yes, yes sir. sir. That that's the best way yes, to celebrate. Sir. 
Um, yeah. I remember uh, what's his name? Shout shout out to uh, Byuk 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 Lin Sang Byuk Hun Sang. Yeah, Byuk Hun Sang oh, from yeah, Dallas. Yeah, he made yeah. the beat for you. Did he Byung make Byung hey, beat? yeah. Shout out to Remy's brother, right? Yes, sir. Byuk Hun Sang, bro. Yes, he, sir. He believed in me. Yeah, man. All the people that I started with, man. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to Ula, my my producer, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Nate. Hey, we shot? need you here, man. Shout out, to, shot? shout out to Rinzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Monk B. Yeah. Man. Yes, sir. Um, So, to go off of that, right? What was your biggest motivation to start this? What was your biggest motivation to, like, you know, to write and to perform? My biggest, mo my biggest motivation is to change the culture. Not change in a bad way, but, like, like, evolve it so that we can be, you know, we can compete with all these other people that we used to look up to. We used to yes, think that sir. it's something that we could never reach. And now, like, as youngins, like, the younger generation, we're trying to prove that, okay, we might not have the best lyrics in like Hall. We might not have the best lyrics, but at the end of the day, what we're doing, we're getting attention. We're trying to put our people on so that after us, there's going to be our little brothers, our little sisters, that's going to make it to mainstream, right? Right. Because... Our biggest mot motivation should be to grow as a culture. Right. So I think to sum up your words, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you're trying to do your part to see our culture grow, to see our community grow, right? You're like the stepping stone. And whoever comes after you that does bigger things, that's going to be because of you and in part to you, right? That's that's the type of stuff that you're trying to do. You're trying to like you're trying to impart I'm, some knowledge, some wisdom yeah, to, yeah. to the community. I'm not going to say it's because of me. But more like, oh, more it, like it's gonna be because of you guys. Like it's it's gonna be because of the things that yeah, you guys like do. we're basically like like setting up the stones to cross the bridge. Right, you feel right, me? right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I just feel like you know, a lot of a lot of lifelong rappers right now, even people younger than us, they still keep that like you know, uh, they still have that old school flow. I love it, bro. I love it, right? And I need y'all. Right? And we can't, you know, okay, I don't know about Lin Lin. I know he knows more, like, oh, right, Kicha? Like, I didn't grow up in Light Town like that, right? So, but you know, from what I know, right? I write from what I know. It still turned out decent, you know, we try to make it catchy. It's 21st century, bro. It's, uh, what would you guys say, right? And especially for Lin what would you say is the biggest struggle? When writing or coming up with new content, new, um, new material, what's what's the biggest challenge for you? I feel like the biggest challenge for me, like once once you set a goal for yourself, right? I said, "Okay, okay, money, okay, tip me, um, like me, okay, tint la, makoma." And since you like, since like, king hak chit, king hak chivery, and we don't really have guidance. And the hardest thing for me, like my biggest challenge, is just to mature fast. Mm. Like, I feel like if you're in the entertainment industry or, like, just part of any type of entertainment, it doesn't have to be necessarily singing. Not entertainment, but, like, any place where you, you're in front of a group, peop a group right. of people a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like you have to learn to mature very quick, mm. like, more than your peers. And, you know, I, I grew up when, I, like, I got a little bit noticed when I was younger, so I feel like I had to grow up fast. And I made a lot of mistakes, too, but, you know, it's those mistakes only um, push me further and motivate me more to become better. Because at the end of the day, I feel like Keke Make, now Chipotle comes up to me, right? Mm -hmm. Like role models. And if we act like we don't, we just, we don't really stand up for what we believe in, like for the right. culture, you know? Right. So, yeah. So um, I think you guys do have a dispor like disproportionately like um, bigger share of responsibility because. Um, a lot of young kids look up to you, whether and I said this last time too, whether it's like, you know, for the good or the bad, people look up to you guys, young kids look up to you guys, you know, and it's, um, it makes a difference when you guys, when you guys say something, like, you know, when you guys start something, when you guys do something, people pay attention. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you guys Wait, have, yeah. On that, on that note, let me ask you something, right? So, how you come up with songs, Philip just asked you that. Um, I want to know and get your opinion on this. As an artist to artist too, right? Do you believe in writer's block? Do you think that's real? That has to be real. I think mm -hmm. I think writer's block, <laughs> I think I don't think I know it's real because mm -hmm. I've experienced it. Okay. Hold on. What's a writer's block? I don't know what that so, is. <laughs> so a writer block a writer's block <laughs> is like, you know, 
when you try so hard to write new material, new music, right? Uh-huh. Nothing just comes into mind. You can't think of anything. Uh-huh. Like, clock kid. It's kid. like it's like writer's block is like to better explain it, like creative block. Yeah, basically. You're like you run out of create creativity, uh-huh. so you have to find a new source of like inspiration. So basically, happens to everybody right, that right, right. Like, 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 like for for example, is it like you're like okay, I want to write a song. And then you go, you go, you go write your song, and then you're like, okay, now I can't think anymore. Now I have like another motivation. Basically, that's to it. Yeah. Do it. Is it like that? Writers and like students get this too. You know, students when you're trying to write, when you're trying to write an, an assignment, a paper, you don't know what to write. About. Like you don't know how to start. That's a writer's block. So you're stuck. You know, basically, that's what it means. Yeah. Like holding zit na kanda ula writer's block. Like holding zin. Atap mi kis golo ma. Like uh, like holding zin na kan ting ha. You know what? Like, what? Like, what? Instead of writer's blocks, what, what's in another? Na kruo na kapit ko so you know so na kruo na kapit yeah. Like na kruo na kapit ka ka na katiyan tu. Writer's blocks ko bro. Continue writer's blocks ko. Yeah, writer's blocks. Like holding zin translating ki. Ki like ha ha ki sa sa basila sa tila basila mo sa tila basila tila ding ki. The you know, right, right. Like, okay, is it that the last time the 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 I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure, the great writers like Dial Oak, right? Uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy that's um. Hert Lian. Hert Lian, right? Yeah. Um, shout out to Hert Lian, man. Shout out Hert Lian, bro. I'm sure they get writer's block too. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Um, and you know, uh, it's just no way they don't. This got is it, America, and to me, uh, Sam Ah, I forgot his name. This is America. Uh huh. Kyom Hong. Kyom Hong. Him. And Kanti, Kabizi, and Titi Mionka. Those are all great writers, bro. Awesome. They um, they. I'm sure they get writers block too, but I don't know. Um, I, like, I'm sure they deal with it differently from you guys. You know? Bro, if you like me, you have to know. He was, okay, he was the goat. So he in Malaysia, right? In Malaysia, he was the goat. Like go, his songs were go, go. hidden in Malaysia. Mahe. All I know is um that's your look. Dang, hey, thank you for fact uh, checking. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we have fact check, fact, <laughs> fact check, fact check, fact check. You know what I'm saying? Hey, appreciate that. Appreciate no, but fact check. but um, this is American Auntie. That's uh, Kyung Hong, and then also um, uh, there's there's that there's that other one. It's like um, Kazongam Lo Light Lang Wapatetsu. Yeah, Array Kyung Chinese Lang Nukum. Yeah, yeah that y'all y'all him. y'all a little too old for me. <laughs> we some old heads, bro. But <laughs> yeah, they get writers block too. I'm sure. Okay, we can all agree on one thing though. Hert Lian is goaded. He's goaded. Goaded. Bo Hert Lian, in 2019. Rest, Rest in peace for real. 2019 Rengu Gundam Leo Khan. Uh, I'm not going to call to Hert Lian. Then. Like, for real, you met him? Go Uben, just like, yeah, we're related somehow. Oh, but I can't crazy. recall. But yeah, he, they took us to like an amusement park. But you know Rengu Lian, amusement park is like a deep. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what if I fly off? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So so we on this topic, right? We on this subject of 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 generational talents that like me people possess, right? Right. In terms of that in rap, right? Rap la sami akin. Can not chill out in cake rock war me too. Paling, right? Paling and Van Big T. What was your biggest inspiration in the lie community? Lie rapper akin. Alright. Uh lie lie rapper things on slow can lie artist in Tilamo. Artist, I hope big influence like the way I grew up, the biggest influence I think for me was uh Van Bier Lian. Mm. Van Bier T. Not influence for me, but like I feel like that's the the people that, not the biggest influence to me, but like what mainstream was pop that was the mainstream. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 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 And that that's stuff. what that's that's the type of thing that I was like, damn, I wanna you know what I'm saying? Oh, Get in jump. You into. are right, you are so right because like we said earlier, right? Music evolved. Even for us Limey people, right? So it was Bees and Moon, right? Mm-hmm. And and Vambiak T Paling. And then after that, like, my my bad for cutting you off. After that, like it got quiet, you know, cricket cricket sound. We'll play the cricket sound, man. <laughs> but um But it yeah. got quiet and then 
No, but you can't forget about Wen Tio Tsung too, bro. Wen Tio Tsung came after him, though. Oh, yeah, after Bambi Lian. You know who you forgot, though? Come on, bro. You can't forget my boy Johnny Lian, bro. Oh, Johnny Lian. Johnny Lian. Shout out to Johnny Lian. If you talk about Bambi Lian, if you talk about Bambi Lian, Johnny Lian has to come in the picture, bro. Take your mind, like. What? 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 <laughs> Wait, Come yeah. on, bro. We all grew up that, listening bro. to that, you know. Come oh, on, man. what's and your name? And then after that, Moon Tio Tsung. I'm not gonna lie. 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 I'm Yes, sir. Bro, I feel like I mean, nobody talking I'm not about gonna lie him. To you, bro. Bro, man. I'm not going to pretend, <laughs> but like... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Bill Sung. Shout out to Bill Sung. Bro, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What was you going to say, <laughs> You goofy for that. Bro, you so gonna you got to... What was you going to say? <laughs> but what were we talking about, bro? All right, to be honest, bro, like, like rap, I grew up, I like, I know like, You know the I know some songs like Paling, of course he was popping, and then Bambik Tia Ken. I know like a couple of songs. I know a couple of Bees and Moon songs, but like Bambik yes Tia like Kenny Del, right? And I feel like if I act like I know like their culture, right? Because I didn't grow up in Hakao Tentlan, so I don't really know what's going on there, right? So I'm not gonna act like oh I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, but yeah. like Fair I, I really love their like mm. they. Insp I'm not gonna sp say inspired, but like. I listened to them when I was mm -hmm. growing up, mm -hmm. and it's it's more like what they got going on. I feel like they got to come on here too, mm -hmm. talk about how they feel. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I can't act like I know because they don't. They don't. Even if they see us a certain way, they didn't grow up the way we grew up. They right. they're not influenced by the, the the by the music that we're influenced by. So yes, sir. it's more like it's more like I feel like there's a gap. It's it's more like we can't really say nothing. They make it too much more like, come on, like can run and sell and take villa like don't be with sell like can't feel don't make it don't be with you know. And can mali he just don't put that kind of dang pa na so we use we mix it like you guys said you know English la la whole kind talk pa and you know you guys did it so well it's like a fit back a flow then they can I don't talk you know. Hopefully it's hard. Yeah. That's the easiest way. That hopefully it's hard. Bro, it's just generational like evolution. <laughs> you know, like well, generational change, gap, man. bro. Uh, not to take too much credit away from you, but Lindo Da for Bans here, right? And you've seen Lindo Da rap too, bro. Right. What's his name? Uh, Tai Sung Noo, Chon Ro Da. Chon Ro Da, please, please. Oh, no, no. Give, me, uh, give me that. Give me that line, please. The, the rap. Give me that rap, please. Tai Sung Noo, Chon Ro Da, he can't talk to me. Yeah. Give me that talk. Tai Na Chin, I can't go to his own phone. I can't go to his own phone. Yeah. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Bro. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Man. All I'm gonna say is your pop started this movement, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's he, no, uh, hey, honestly, he's, pop, he's a genius, bro. Uh, your dad, your dad was doing stuff that um, that we're barely starting to scratch the surface now. Your your dad was doing movies back then. Was he the first right? one that do movie in America for Limey people? I don't That's know. Right. I, I have so. no idea. Yes, I he started like he out. Is. I but like we're not hey, we're not we're not gonna say nothing that we can't fact. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know, yeah, but on, but um. Yeah, well, okay, let's just say one one of the yeah, one, one of the first yeah, ones yeah. to do it. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is um he was doing these things when we were in our diapers. Like he was already out there, you know, doing content creation. You know, we're barely starting. We're barely right. uh scratching the surface. So, you know, we got to pay respect to our pops, like to your pops, you know. Um they was doing big things before us. And I think, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So like your dad's a creative person. Like I think you got you got some of his traits. You know, you you're doing your own thing. You're doing rap music, right? But um, I think I can see where the inspiration comes from. You know, um, it's like you're primed for it. I think, yeah. yeah man. Industry plant. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have hey a shout out to my dad, man. So so I have I have this one question, right? So na talk na kumli si sang ay na kumli katiyakin. That that was your first music video, but I know you started way earlier. You've been been rapping for us you've been rapping for your youth your church for everyone i already know uh i, I didn't know you started four years ago but atuahin do you consider yourself like okay i am at the point where i want to be or is, is there more to go mm, uh that's, that's a, a really good question. that's a good question bro i mean 
I, he said I, st- I rap when I was young, but when I was young, bro, the the rap, the songs that I rap was like people's song, you know, like San Kutila, okay. I will memorize them. I, I mean, like that's how we know that you can rap. You get it? Like, <laughs> yeah, you can bro. rap along with those people. We couldn't, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I was already. into. I, 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 <laughs> I, re- I really like rapping, right? I really like rapping, like, but I didn't really start writing until Honey, Honey. You know, that was my yeah. first song I ever wrote, and like that was a really good question, bro. Because that's what I ask myself all the time. Like, am I like, am I not helping me to grab career, come lead song? They're a great thing. And we have to we have to give importance to that because they are like mm-hmm. they make it like worth it. You know? mm-hmm. We have something to go for, something mm-hmm. for a goal. And my K now that I already ac- accomplished myself with those mm-hmm. and then traveling, right? It's coming together. My goal now is to see like if I can really be financially stable with this, right? Because mm-hmm. I feel like that's what that's what one thing like one thing like if you a rapper, like I, I always hear mm. right? Mm. But this that you know how much how much money does it really come in? So I can teach the people you know, only like this how much right. you can give for like you know just experiment. So my next thing is. To release more music, keep going, keep releasing different type of music, and see where it gets me financially, too. I want right. to experiment with that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, before you release the next song, next album, Checkbox is here, man. Preview, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, we here, sir. bro. We here. Um, and to go back to that point of, like, you know, financial stability, I think... Um, the end game, the 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 end goal of a lot of these artists, anyone, right, anywhere, is to make money, is to put bread on the table, right? And that's a like, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. There's a that's a very respectable goal, you know what I mean? You've put in four years, you've put in a lot of money, you've put in a lot of time, right? A lot of thought into it. Um, now, what can you get back from that investment, basically, right? Um, and so I think, like, you're right. I think this is the biggest challenge for any inspiring artist, any budding talent, right? Um, how do you how do you make it work? Okay, how do you make it worth it? You know, what can you take out of it, right? Um, what can you get out of it? Um, I think that's like one of the biggest questions that like everyone deals with. So um, I'm hoping and I'm praying that, you know, you like there'll be people here that can finally like, you know, break through that and um, make or get something back from the rap game, basically, you know, get something back from um, from from the things that they do with, uh, with music. Um, so with that, right, that's a very good segment way to say, you got any projects coming up next? What are your plans? Next project, mm-hmm. I got a song coming out. I, I got two, three songs coming out. And then, yes, you know, I'm very excited. <clears throat> I'm about to go shoot a music video when I come back from Tennessee this week. And then, yeah, man, I'm excited. I think yes, I, found, I found my, you know what I'm saying, my voice. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I, I want to show I wanna show off my new me. Like, you know, this is going to be a whole other lean. So I changed right, my right, lean right. to lean two times. Because, you know what I'm saying? Lian, your groove, bro. Times two is Lian Lian, and I feel like I found myself. I'm happy, you know what I'm saying. I'm focused, and I'm gonna see how far we are gonna take it. And right. thank you to all my supporters. Keep riding with me, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh. From from our perspective, kan mana kan mu naujun? Yeah, naming naming tang. Okay, you you you're on there. Okay, <laughs> okay. Kan mana kan mu naujun? Mina tampi zong ni kum tuan ni muka. But on that journey, there are a lot of haters, probably, yeah. right? How do you deal with that? How how did you cope with cope up with like, yeah, cope up with you know like what they say? Oh, you're not this, you're not that. How did you uh, keep going, bro? <laughs> I just laugh. <laughs> like I the see answer. like comment nothing like <laughs> they they hate him, bro. I just laugh, bro, cause I'm like. If I go to the hospital, you're not gonna the, the guy who commented. He's not gonna be there for me. If I die, he's not gonna be there. <laughs> so like, that's a weird way to put it, bro. But okay. Like I was trying to wrap my head care. around that, bro. But I'm like, okay. Kata 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 azeti man omalo too. Like he, he'll yeah. never be there for me. He's never. He don't even know me. Mm-hmm. He never had a sit down. Came out. Came out. 
them high then be so in the rope below yeah yeah so yeah. i'll be laughing bro and so i'll be like hey look what they say ah! they dissing us ah! <laughs> you feel me hey, hey what they say about them boy for shoddy L- little red yeah. riding <laughs> <laughs> bro we just be laughing bro yeah. i see i see them st- no, you know, they be like, oh, Lynn, they diss you on the song, right? Mm-hmm. I be listening, like, ah, ha, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's not to disrespect nobody. Right. It's like, bro, like, you don't even know me, right? You know? And I did right. nothing to you. Yes, so, you know? right. Was there any competition while you were growing up? Bro, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, I, don't, don't I, I wouldn't say it's competition. It was more motivation, or, bro. Look. I feel like I feel like in the rap Ooh. game. I feel like in the rap game, bro. Ooh. Especially the light rap game right now. Like, we are too small to be hitting on each other, bro. Facts, bro. Say yeah. this. Can say that louder, bro. To hit on each other, can fight three. Can, can compared to the mainstream, we like this, bro. And my la mama kick, bro. We're not at the level where there's enough artists that are up there to diss each other, bro. You want to diss me? Get on my level. You feel me? And and then that's gonna make it fun. Shots fired. <laughs> because cause you dissing Shots me fired. and me dissing you, yeah. like you, I'm you gaining way more than me. I'm just mm-hmm. losing. Mm-hmm. If I give a pay attention to that, so like I, don't bro, stoop to that level, basically, right? Yeah. Just just ignore the haters, man. Just yeah. ignore Ma- the haters. Hey, I love that. Ma- I love write that, that down. Hey. Oh, hey, if you under eighteen, hey. write that down. Ma- <laughs> Ma- <laughs> Ma- <laughs> Ma- <laughs> Ma- I know you got a we'll side gig thing again. going on right now. <laughs> um, you guys have uh, Zoom. Right. Yeah, Zoom. Shout out to Zoom. Zoom. Yes, Shout out Zoom. Hey, so somebody what, pass Zoom, me the sweater, bro. gang. Somebody what what is what is sweater, Zoom? Man. Explain uh, a little bit. What's Zoom? Bro, Zoom, bro. Hey, Zoom. Hey, shout out. It's the future. <laughs> That's one word I'm gonna describe Zoom. It's the future yes, for Labby. You see this three the, look, these four letters? You gonna see them everywhere, bro. Just yes, just sir. you know what I'm saying? Shout out I to y'all been seeing it everywhere. Shout out to B, shout out to Bosco, shout out to Thar, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you know what I'm saying, shout out to Sosa. What's the what's the inspiration behind Zoom, the name Zoom? Zoom and, and what's the goal? Zoom uh Dig back to the roots, man. Bro, uh let me let me like la holding kachimala marahong chimlamo. Zoom timito na zoom in kazo timi na te tonwa like Till pakat ke kan tau chia mi mo minung minung ke kan ngay tung ha ke longing for somebody like minung pakat ngay nak ke mo. Go home. Then is it sui song mu? Yeah, sui song mu mas inga koi kong ku. Kan neng neng he. Kete 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 lo but like something like that, right? Uh-huh. So like I'ma let Su explain it in English. Yeah, so it's basically what bro said. You know, I'm I'm in Zoom too. Shout out everybody that's in Zoom. Um, I'm actually mini kan atlin di ko is is. Zoom is a deep, deep word, like to deep, yearn, right? right? It's like to in yearn our, in to our Chin community, long. right? To, to so yearn to long, to long right? for somebody, to right? Yearn so someone, yeah. by by naming this brand Zoom, we long for our culture, right? We we don't left our culture, bro. You see what's going on in Light Lang, bro. We left that, you know. So we long for our culture. We long for who we are. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And push that agenda towards the new community, you know, like the younger generation. Name is Zoom, you know? Mm-hmm. We miss you, Light Lang. That's it, hey, man. Hey, bro, go, going off of what he said, like, Zoom, bro, this this is for, like, the anybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Because this generation, we grew up, a lot of Chin people, we grew up in the third world country. It's not yes, our sir. home, right? So we're losing a lot of our culture. You see how much influence music has on us. Wherever we grew up, the people you grew up is going to influence you. Mm-hmm. So whoever, like, needs to go back to the culture, like, you know what I'm saying, this home, when they wear it, we want them to feel like they're a part of their back to light long. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. When they wear it, we want them to feel f- feel powerful. We want them to be proud of their chin. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. That's, that's what Main we stand thing. up for. Main focus. And it doesn't even have to be chin. It's any culture that, you know what I'm saying? If you're missing your culture, mm-hmm. we stand up for any missing culture. You know what I'm saying? All right, can we run that again? Wait, wait, wait. Since she want to throw me.